right to the rocks. Then I make that shit back. Run up on me, get shot in the back. Hey, Jay, do the booty for your scotch, man. Break him in. Damn, see ya. Pops, today we back out west once again because we love west coast. And we fully go. Chill, chill. We're from the east coast. Don't be doing that. Nah, I roll with the west because they're the best. All right, so today we got Tommy G's, the Cambodian Bloods of Stockton. Pops. How do you feel about Stockton at the moment? We cover a lot of Stockton music reactions. We cover, we seem to be deep in the West Coast, like Stockton area. EBK, Young Jock, and all them, J Bow. Oak Town, and shout out to everybody. Sack. If it's your first time tuning in to SAC, you know what I'm saying? We're in tune with the West Coast scene. This is a special hip hop channel because we cover a lot of content really fast. We don't waste your time. And every time you watch us, you learn something because I drop fun facts. I'm 67 years old and I've been watching hip hop since 1983. First time subscribe. Tune in into the channel, subscribe to the channel, request the content, and then we react. He's on Instagram, JV TV. I am too, Pops React. We join the Discord. Discord below. Yo, Pops, I could probably join the Cambodian Bloods. I look a little half Asian or something like that, right? Yeah. I so can pass. It is. Dun, 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 dun. You approve me being a Cambodian Blood? We'll, we'll see nah, how that happens. Nah, nah. nah. I, I approve you getting a Cambodian girlfriend. Okay, that's fine. I like that. Let's have a right to it. Right? Cambodian chicks are hot. <laughs> no, it's like, let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Tommy B. Today, we're in Stockton getting brazy. Oh yeah, we getting a break and you know that we on the island. Getting brazy. Hey, we got bit. Mr. Beast came through the hood. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question though, like, so how did, they're probably gonna explain it, but how did Asians become bloods? We've seen like with the Mexicans, the Mexicans, the Sorenos and Nortenos, there's no such thing as a Mexican blood. You guys made fun of me in the Young Eggs reaction. Because we didn't know. But how did like Asians like I know in Hawaii they have Hawaii blood. We should do the Hawaiian documentary too. They have like Hawaiian bloods out there. Oh, it's wild out of Hawaii, bro. Yeah, yeah, one state at a time. One city at a time. I know, right? But uh yeah, let's see. And as you guys know who MB Nell is, right? So is MB Nell a part of this gang? Because he's Asian and he's like a game maker from Stockton and shit. Yeah. So what is he? And they keep us blue flags, I think. Who knows? What the heck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you guys allowed to eat blueberry muffins? I there's some homies don't even want to use a blue lighter. They wouldn't even drink a blue drink. That's OD. When I think of Stockton in my head, I think of Nick Diaz fighting Robbie Lawler yelling Stockton, motherfucker. I also think of his brother Nate slapping people in the octagon. But in truth, <laughs> I didn't know too much about Stockton. When I Google it, I found a few things. A Forbes article in 2014 called Stockton one of the most miserable cities in America. And the Stockton City website said, and I quote, there is not one neighborhood in Stockton that is completely free of gang members or gang activity. That's unbelievable. So I knew this is something that I had to see for myself. Through the Hood Vlogs YouTube channel, I found this crew of Cambodian Bloods in Stockton, and I tapped in with local residents. Oh wow, Tommy G's and a real one. Shout out Tommy G because he didn't have to shout out Hood Vlogs. Hood Vlogs is a great documentary yeah. um, channel. I think we should probably cover them too. We should well, probably... like, it'd be like America's most dangerous hoods. Yeah, he'd be going on the hood hoods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And good for him, man. Shout him out, good American man. man. Ain't doing Jason. That. A big part of this channel is finding our way into the underworld to see what it's really like. So today we head to Stockton, California. Boots on the ground. We'll see you there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. You put up an Iota. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to your live today in the city of Stockton, California. And we're gonna see it firsthand. We're meeting with a crew of Cambodian Bloods, which I've never met before. Just overall, the gang culture, the gang world is just fascinating to me. I mean, how people operate, what the attraction is, the allure, and also the downside that comes with living the street life. I think one one thing that this channel has consistently explored is no matter how bad or dangerous or horrible a place is supposed to be, I think when you actually talk one-on-one -on -one with a human, without fail, you're almost always gonna find the good in them or the good in the place. Yeah, that is true. And um, I'm sure we're gonna find that today in Stockton. So let's tap in with the bloods. Sue Wu, see you on the block. <laughs> What's happening, fellas? Sue Wu. Oh, you, you must doing? be Henry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to meet you, bro. You too, man. How you doing? I'm good, man. You're looking fresh. I know, there he is. Okay. He's a political candidate. Who the fuck is this guy with his earrings all fucked up? He looks yeah. like a fucking scamming lawyer. That's Henry Rodriguez. Henry, I'm going to take your money, Rodriguez. I'm going to put yeah. you in jail. Public defender, Rodriguez. He's playing in Marachi, man, on the weekend. Bad man, huh? Doing it all, Please man. Tell the people where we are right now. Okay, we're here in Stockton, California. Lewis Park. Right here in the heart. The heart of the island right here. This is the west side. You got Country Club over here. You got Boss Track over nice. there. And what is this area known for? Violence. Yeah? Yeah, for violence. Well, I know of Stockton. It's home of the Diaz brothers. Yeah. 
also that I've read an article that's one of the hardest places in America to grow up. It is. It's Did you grow up in Stockton? I'm from Stockton. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm from Stockton. I'm from right here, man. This is the group that I grew up with, and this is the the type of people that I want to impact at the same yeah. time. You know what I mean? Yeah. And tell people a little bit about yourself. I'm running for City Council District Four. Right. That's this area right here, man, to make a difference in the area that I'm from. You know? Okay. What are the top couple things? You get elected. What do you want to do? Uh, for one, I want to fix our light, our handball light out here, man. You know, the guys, they want some activities to where they could do something. Yeah. And it's getting dark a lot, you know what I mean? So, why not have something that will keep them off of the streets and into different doing things? Sports is unquestionably one of the best things yes. we can do for the year. Yes, yes, a absolutely. I'm actually working on a program right now. It's called the Torch Foundation. It's from Southern California. Mm -hmm. So, it's an emotional intelligence leadership training. And so, what they're doing is uh, they're showing uh, uh, from the ages of 13 to 18 youth how to express their emotions in healthy ways except not through gun violence mm. not through alcohol and not through drugs I like that. you know what i mean so i'm actually that should be with them. that should be school curriculum it absolutely there's should so be. many oh man this is another subject we could dive into but there's so many things missing in school today like yeah. how to become an entrepreneur yes. how to leverage debt how to have yes. bro, credit they're not going to yeah. teach you how to do that bro they want you to be a bot and go to work and get up every day and go to work they're not going to teach you how to fucking become an entrepreneur Especially why would they do that now, like and messes some... up their 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 assembly line like yeah 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 and it's so bad now because now the youth they get jobs and they get contracted like they don't even get pensions for one k none of that just Social come security. work we're gonna pay you an extra 20 grand and goodbye kicking ass yeah how to just so many different things how to handle your emotions yeah. you think that would be like one of the base foundations of becoming a man absolutely man Okay, I'm gonna tap in with the yeah, crew. It's Javen, right? It's Javen. Yeah. Okay. Javen. How you doing, big dog? Not much, man. Appreciate Good you pulling up. Oh, yeah. Javen. Is that a tree stump? Oh, I thought that was a tree stump. It is yeah, a tree stump. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. You yeah. smoking out that bamboo? Okay. So this yeah. is the squad. This is the crew. Yes, sir. You know this gang. We're here. We're playing some handball. Playing. I don't think I play handball like this. Can you walk me through it? They just take a turn in the ball. They're, they're, they're teams of two. It, it's like wall ball. Yeah, it's like wall ball. Game Bear is playing handball. This is like some like yeah. Let me tell you something. It's crazy. You say that because I grew up in New York City and mostly all like the Puerto Ricans play uh, handball. 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 And then when I went out to like Long Island, New York, like a bunch of black dudes playing handball. Like So it's ass. a thing? It's a thing. It's a good sport. You never played it. It's right? almost like ping pong. It's just a thing. Yeah. I think it, it more like uh, handball really is in bigger city areas because you only need a ball and a couple dudes and then yeah. you just talk Pause. Shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> Two, they take a turn hitting the ball. Keeping it in, keeping it in the box too. So you feel me? They so you go before the box or, or past the box that's not in. Yeah. Okay. See how they keep it inside the box? Uh huh. Two teams that need to take a turn hitting the ball. Whoever scored at 12 first, and and so we do. Tell the people what is it like in Stockton? Right now? Man, Stockton is the same shit. It's been, it's been for so long, you know, man. Every exit is some different neighborhood. Every exit is some different gang. And, this is what it is. This is how Stockton been. When I Googled Stockton, one of the things that came up was a police website that said there is not one area in Stockton that does not have a gang in the area. Exactly. That's how accurate. And that's how accurate. That, like I said, but every exit is going to be somebody neighborhood. Every exit is going to be somebody, somebody gang. Even somebody territory. For real. So they get very territorial here. For sure. Is he half black or he just has like a darker skin because he's Cambodian? I think he's just Cambodian. He, um, was this a lot of background noise? Yeah. Thank God he got the subtitles. For, for shortly. So tell me about, like, um, the pressure. Like, at what age does a young man start feeling pressure? Like, hey, you gotta start getting affiliated or you're gonna get left behind. For somebody like me, you just, you just live here. You born here, you know what I mean? When you grow up, your uncle, see, it's, it's your older brothers, your uncles, and all that. It's something like, you just, it's more like a family. What percent of, of young men do you think are affiliated in some way? If I could young guess? Men, yeah. Ooh, probably 75, I'm yeah. not sure. Because I, I read somewhere, Stockton could be one of the toughest places in America to grow up. Is there a story from your childhood that can you paint us a picture of life in stock? I hear a lot of shit that happened. Like, man, when the homies got into a shootout with the police way back in, way back in the day, that's probably one of the biggest stories. I mean, people was in the trees shooting at the police. You know what I mean? One of the homies died, rest in peace, that day. Getting to a shootout with the police. And How are police looked at in this neighborhood? They're dangerous. They're dangerous? Yeah, they're dangerous too. They're their own gang. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But they might not visit, they might not visit. But a lot of times they want to pick on it, they, they'll do that. They do whatever they want. They, they got they got Stockton on a leash. You know what I mean? They, they can do whatever they want. So I can tell that this park is important to you because you got a tattoo. Let's give them a good view of that's this park we're at right here. Yeah. I right, I did my, my history a little bit. So a lot of people came here in the 70s, right? Yeah. He so, got a tattoo of a park that he's doesn't even pay taxes for it. But that's a hood. That's a hood, fool. 
Leave alone. <laughs> Tell him I give you a, like a, a pop quiz. What is the name Cold Pot mean to you? <laughs> that's where that's where my who my parents ran from. Yeah. Um, Tell the people about that because some people might not know that part of history. Yeah, but my parents, but we first gen Americans from me, but my parents they from Cambodia. Mm -hmm. They came down like you said, seventies. Uh, my parents came around eighty five, but. For sure, Pope Pot is what my parents ran from. He he he's like the Cambodian Hitler. So so this this uh, Cambodian dictator Pol Pot took over. Millions of people died. Yeah. Between famine and labor camps. So Pol Pot practiced a brand of uh, communism. What is your take on communism? I don't know shit like that. Hey, what's up with it, bro, man? You know who you look like, though? Huh? You look like Mr. Beast. <laughs> Hey, we got bit. Mr. Beast came through the hood. <laughs> <laughs> we got Tommy G in the hey, hood. What's up, bro? Oh, oh, also, shout out to Hood Vlogs. That's how I yeah, found like the crew. Yeah, like and subscribe, man. Shout out to Hood Vlogs, bro. Yeah. I don't know if this is like Hollywood, like legends or rumors, but what happens if someone wears blue? Is that a big deal or is that old school shit? No, it's okay. I can wear blue. I like wearing blue. I look good in blue. Okay. It's okay. Me and me ain't really chipping off the color like that. Okay. But I mean, we were red. That's the niggas Yo, know. Yo, how does it work in okay. jail with the Asians, though? Because, like... Who do y'all team up with? Because I know the Mexicans are dumb deep. The black dudes are deep. The white dudes are deep too. Yeah, I wonder how that works. So do you link? I think they link up with the Mexicans, I think. You think so? Yeah, I think but they... I don't know. If they blood, they might have to go with the blood. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. How would I go? I Let's just know. Hmm. You got a red ring on the right side, sorry, but blue. I like wearing blue. It's okay. You can wear blue. Does it mean anything if you wear on the left side? But you, if you pull up in blue, you might just get checked, huh? Yeah, Does we it don't mean wear, anything we if you wear on the left side? We wear on the right. Yeah, we wear on the right. Why do you choose that side? So we beat us. Beat us. Beat us. We not move. We wear on the right. Nah, move. Yeah. Okay. I guess if a kid is thinking about joining, how do you say yes or no to him? Like, how is like is there an application there's, process? There's, there's better shit to be a gang member. There's yeah. Way better shit to be a gang member. This you could be. A rapper, a singer, you could be a doctor, you could be, you don't want to be no gang member, that's what I'm going to tell kids. Why is sure. that? Because it, it, it ain't, what, what we go through, it ain't what I want another person, let another kid to go through, so that I ain't going to... That stand up shit? Uh, what you call that? When we pump their head up? Gash them mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like the 9 to 5 are sometimes knocked in the street world, like, it's almost like you're a bitch if you get a 9 to 5? Oh, uh, hell no, bro, ain't nothing wrong with getting a 9 to 5, bro. You feel me? Get yours, you feel me? Yeah. That's what, like, it is, you feel me? If you ain't getting your paper, then you ain't living, you feel me? <laughs> Where do you guys feel like this country? is going right now. Are you optimistic about the future of America? Bro, we going to war, bro. On everything. You think that war is three coming? I think that's a bummer, bro. As this is being recorded, things are hot between Israel and Palestine, and shit is cooking up in the Middle East, and I agree. It feels like we're on the edge of something big. Especially that new Call of Duty that just came out. <laughs> I feel like you guys do everything, yo. <laughs> I thought Asians are higher IQ. Even the hood one should be crazy, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. My man went from real world politics to like, yo, how about that Call of Duty, Duty three? And that shows you kind of like what's going on. It's like a disconnect. Like people walk up to the line and they stop walking. It's just like I'm stay here. Right, that's crazy. You know what I mean? Sheesh. To teach me, I hey man, it'd be like off that woo wop. Woo wop could mean anything. It could be like, hey, you see that woo wop right there? It could be <laughs> anything. If a woo wop is approaching, that a good thing or a bad thing, or that's it could be both. You, you already using it right. You already using it right already. So just the tone, like, yeah, yeah. it's a f woo wop or yeah. yo woo wop. Is Sue Woo something too? Does that mean anything? Yeah, woo woo. Yeah, woo -woo. Yeah. And how you say brother? You'd be like blutter. Blutter. Yes, I would say Sue Woo. We just be like woo for short. We don't gotta be like oh, so woo. We just be like woo. I want to see what, what Henry's gonna do when he wins office. Are we are we trying to vote for him again? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! That's the bro. Oh, that's the brother. I just want to hear more about your story. What got yeah. you to the position you are today? That you're like, I want to make a change. I want to make things happen. Man, my son right there. See, my son's over there. He's in the green. Um, you know, I just wanted a better life for him, oh, man. Goodness. You know, I don't want him to go through the things that I went through. And, you know, I, I know that uh, if I could structure him and I could help him to be a young man, then I could help all these young men. Roger. There we go. Come on. Let's get some, like, guns and stuff like that. I want real gang banging action. Anyone want to do a round of push-ups? I need to get my arms a little bigger. I do. Let's go do to the hood. Why are you going to pull? How do they do it around here? Burpees? Well, Show me how well, they do push-ups Regular around burp. Here. I mean, how do you guys do burpees? Y'all do regular. I mean, sure, you can go like this. What the fuck? Hold on, yeah, you you with the right one. Oh, you doing? What are you doing? doing some other shit. <laughs> some other shit, right? Damn, this Bruce Lee, uh, he going so crazy. You lose the teeth in your mouth. Yeah, you're bugging on that court. Just, do the, just pump up a hundred a clip, that's it. Do the shit on that's the ground. That's what matters, bro. hundred a clip. Uh-uh, oh, Superman, Superman, Tommy got the Superman. <laughs> we got the wall. Oh, shit. That's what I'm talking about. They know each other? Boom. Nah, what do you got here? Uh, so, my name's Ioli. 
from Modesto, California. I'm a clothing brand designer, entrepreneur, photographer, hustler, all around. Push-up specialist, we just saw. Calisthenics Yo, specialist. Yo, fun fact, athlete. I don't think and it's me. cool to like do a bunch of things. I think you should focus on one skill and learn it. Like he's trying to, he's like, he's like, I'm a photographer, clothing designer. Like bro, focus on one thing and just lock in. And why are you trying yeah, to do yeah. like a bunch of things? I never he's understood that. He's a hustler, that. he's a muscler. But it's the same thing with this blog. It's like he kind of all over the place. But this guy? The guy blogging it was his name. Tommy, Tommy G. He should go to the hood. Why is he in a room? He's like interviewing and then doing. Then he talking to a politician and he coming back and then he's talking to like. Yeah, he should do more like gritty. Know, yeah, like, gritty nitty. Like interview the people in the hood. And, yeah, and then now we're doing with an entrepreneur that was doing push ups. Yeah, it's confusing. I'm, I'm all over the place. What's going on? Meaning behind back to back is every hustler goes back to back, you know? Everybody could do it once, but not everybody could go back to back. So basically guys, in this life, you want to be successful. Some people can do it once, but if you really want to make it happen, you got to be consistent going back to back, right? Did you know that you can invest your money <laughs> into other people's YouTube channels to get paid weekly dividends really? just like these? Again, I don't know if this is Hollywood or legit, but is there any blood-related dance moves? I know the Crips got the Crip. Oh, the, the homie got the B-Walk. I don't got the B-Walk on a lot. How do you know? Man, if, if my brother was here, they'll show you the B-Walk so perfectly, but he's not here right now. But if some, some homies got the B-Walk on a lot, because you know, some homies can dance, some, some homies can. Okay, if no one here ends up showing <laughs> us, we're going to roll the tape right now of a B-Walk. Some homies can dance and some homies mm -hmm. can't. Okay, if no one here ends up showing us, I'm gonna roll the tape right now of a B-Walk so you know what it looks like. Oh yeah. They oh, copied the Crip Walk! That's just literally the Crip Walk, right? It's the legs behind the legs, 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 legs. It kinda is, but I think... Uh, they say messages, you know, when they dance, right? Yeah, because I think he's probably making a B, probably, right? Ooh, woo! Yeah, because they do, like, they say shit. They're like, do yeah, that is true. Let us in the comments. Educate us on I'm it. sure it's totally different. Uh, kind of keep your head on a swivel, or is it pretty you me, Yo, Pops always says, like, keep like, your head on a swivel. He told me that when I was like, five, nigga. I remember that to this day. He always says, like, keep your head on a swivel. Keep your head on a swivel. You gotta see it coming. You gotta fit it. Kind of yeah, we good. Some places I go, hey. like every car that passes, the guys are you like. You never heard about one way in, one way out. Mm -mm. The way you came in, it's the only way you could get. You, the way, only way you can so get. So that out. makes the security pretty nice, yeah, yeah. huh? So it's, it's water right there. It's a river. The delta water right there in the back. Is a, and Stockton water looks right nice. Okay. And we came from the freeway, so it's more like a peninsula. Okay. So that's why we said we from the that's, island. So that's a good setup. Yeah. yeah. What are some What are some Cambodian swear words I should learn? <laughs> swear words. Yeah. Uh. When your grandma's cussing you out, what is she saying? A kite. A kite. A kite. A kite. A kite. A kite. Yeah. And what like is it? A fucking bastard or something like that. That's probably worse than it. I don't Apakite. know. A kite. A kite. How about a chkut? A chkut. A chkut. A chkut. What does that mean? You're stupid. <laughs> yeah. this, is gonna, this is gonna be a big question, but what do you think the meaning of life is? Oh, for me, though, like, that's easy. I say I'm Buddhist. And stuff like that, but I really live for my parents. My mm -hmm. parents is my God. Wait, meaning life is. To wait, take they're Buddhist in that country? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buddhist is the oldest religion ever, by the way. So you believe in thirty gods? How you believe in thirty gods, bro? Is it that many gods? Yeah, it's like thirty gods in the Buddhist religion. Yeah. Catholic Catholicism is king. Let's get it. That's what they say. Jesus Christ is coming one day. Remember it's that. A lot of Buddhists. Yeah, that's cat. My parents out this motherfucker here. You feel me? That's the meaning of life for me. Hmm. For me, I don't know about for anybody else, but for me, I live for my parents. That's all I want to do is get them out this hood and, and yep, just do good for my parents, make Hello. them happy. What do the monks think about the street life? <laughs> they know what's up. Some monks, some monks used to be in the street life and they turned into a monk. Wow. Yeah. You know, I bet they, they have some very interesting stories to tell. There's something that is a, attractive or kind of alluring about that life to me. Like, it's very peaceful, it feels like. Are you be, your mind would be at ease. Yeah, but it's the black though, really. That's the end right there. You go down there. You can't get out there. You see that freeway right there? That's where y'all it It's so different, right? These hoods, yeah, like, they're so like different. Like in New York City, you got projects, and you know you in the hood. When you when you know, you know you in the hood, right? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel it. And then like, but this is more like a residential hood. Yeah, like I think this is more of most of America. I think. Yeah, that is true. New York City, Chicago, the bigger cities, they're a little different. Yeah, because if you go down <laughs> south, these are hoods are like like in Georgia, they got the little like the cobblestones basically, and it's the mm -hmm. fucking projects or like Section Eight.
Left or right? It's a left or right. Okay. And it goes so like that's one of the that's cold 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 side. Okay. Yeah. It's we're in a heart right now. You feel me? We on patience. So what makes you happy in life? <laughs> what the fuck? When I see my homies and I see my parents. Yo, that nigga's yo. That's he's in a, his little ass is flying out the car. <coughs> and if he just stop short, he's flying out the car, right? Yeah. Let me get that water right there, man. Stop playing. Buffalo. You took my water into your mouth. I'm joking. That's what makes me happy. You know what I mean? Cause this is what I live my life with. My, my whole life, they watch me grow up, and I watch their kids grow up, and you know what I mean. My parents, and that's that's what I live for. Like hey, I said bro. earlier, that's what that's what make me happy. My parents. So we all one. I'm telling you, everybody you see right there, we all related somehow. Even if we're not blood, we related somehow. Are both parents still alive? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Tell, tell me about your dad and mom. What tell me about them? My dad, my dad, he's still working. He is 69 years old, and he's still working. He don't want to quit. He don't want to retire. He's a hard worker. He's a hard worker. She's a mechanic. So yeah. my mom, she, 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 she hanging in there. She chilling. Yeah. You know what I mean? What is it like seeing your parents get old or older? It's scary. I just try not to think about it. <laughs> try not to think about it. Just living day Damn, by day. So you they, know they, what they, mean? they had him. Yeah, they had him late then because he's young. He's in his twenties, right? Yeah. So probably had him in his forties. Yeah. But it, he, he's between twenty. He's between like eighteen and twenty-four. In the Asian culture, you see that though. Like they, they have their kids later. Probably, maybe they met later in life. Yeah, but you know I mean? yeah, that's true. My man's still working, 69, God bless him. You not doing that. <laughs> oh my God. Tell me about the, the cutout. This is the homie, oh, wow. man. What's up, man? This is my big homie, actually, man, for sure. VIP, Blood and Peace. I guess you have a favorite memory oh, of him, or is there something like what do you think, like when you when he comes to mind, like what do you, what comes to your head? Dangerous as nigga ever. Yeah? yeah. He pulling up, he tripping, man. He looked man. like he was about. He don't want to be in this camera right now. If he was here, he wouldn't want to be in this camera. So he be in it though, gang. Be um, in the. It's funny because I was thinking that earlier. I'm watching this video and I'm like, yo, like the real like gangster dudes are not on a camera, bro. Mm -hmm. The one put it in pain, like the. Like, put, yeah, yeah. They there in the background, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who that black dude in the back? So how does it work? Dude? It's the homie. But like, he's the black homie, but like, he not really down with them, but like, nah, he, he down with us. That. That's the homie Shamu. So he kind of, he just lived his mom in front of the corner. Nah, he, he, he just don't talk a lot. <laughs> he just did. <dead. laughs> I mean, in the vlog gang, but if he was in there, he wouldn't want to be in there. Nobody here, dangerous ass nigga. Yeah. Hell yeah, I want to be. He's got that look in his eye. You can just tell him when you see him. Yeah, everybody, everybody see that look in his eye. They don't like it. Is there a crazy initiation around here to get in? I know a some, crazy initiation. Nigga, just some crews get, go wild, dude. They get beat like, up. You feel me? A little something like that, but I mean, ain't no crazy initiation. No. Okay. They're not no mafia shit. Nigga, my oh, the college shit. <laughs> I think initiations can be good if done the right way, because I think it's like it's like a rebirth before and after. No, like once you go through something, you become tougher, stronger. Yeah. So can I tell you the initiation I went through as a high school wrestler? Nobody cares. So this is what happened. After, after you, it's kind of it wasn't that uh, fun, but um, after you would wrestle your first varsity match, the bus ride home, they would get like Oreos or Doritos and they would crush them up in their hands, and then you have to hold your eyes open and they would <laughs> blow it in your eye. What the fuck? Hold on. Do you think that's a good initiation? Crazy as fuck, bro. What in the Midwest are we watching? <laughs> yeah, like what's happening? He's from the Midwest, right? He like, yo, Tommy G, why are you sharing that story, bro? Or Crazy. Like, Damn, <laughs> yeah, so here, guys, can you get me? And you took it. You really took you that You had to. That was part. It's kind of like getting beat up in your crew. Like it's, you don't want right, to bro. do it, but you kind of want to hear about the part of the crew. But your eyes, though, like, look at that shit hurt your eyes. You and I wear contacts, so it's like. You get beat up, it's like you get. You make you a little tougher, but your eyes is like, you see better than some? Or like, what do you do to your eyes? It was, it's called a sandstorm. Do you guys think that's a cool initiation or no bueno? I, I'd rather get beat up, honestly. You me? <laughs> do you feel like people don't solve things hand to hand anymore? I feel like that's something about the streets lately is a lot of guys like to. Not they'd rather not stocking. Ain't nobody finding stocking. Oh, for they're sure. shooting first. Hell yeah, they throwing bullets at you before they then shit. When they, if they fight you, they gonna lose. And then they gonna shoot you after, nigga. Some niggas just don't want to get bruised and sore and shit. <laughs> no, I hear that. No one likes getting punched in the face, you know. Like I don't want to get bruised because I want to eat my food. My, my I don't want to get my jaws touched. Don't like bruises, show. Because if I if that. they break my jaw in a fight, then I can't eat for like ten weeks because I gotta eat through a tool. No. Nobody, uh, wanna, is it, nobody wanna get bruises and swords, you just wanna get a sandwich. <laughs> swords and shit, you feel me? No, I hear that. No one likes getting punched in the face, you know? Like I said, man, ain't no fighting, nigga, getting piped. Of course. No homo. Yeah, that was crazy. No homo. That's not even crazy. On gang. You hear what he said? We got, yeah. we got Mr. Beast slash Tommy G out here. Tommy B. 
Tommy B. Hey. Yeah, I was gonna say that. You remember? Hey, right, man. Tommy B, man. You mean so we're going to the border? We're going to the border. Bro, you already putting this shit around my neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are not putting that shit around my neck because if the op pull up, I have a problem. It's not like I could. Imagine the op that came around the corner. Like, what he gonna do? Take that shit off? Be like, yo, I'm filming a documentary. Yo, it's a prop. Yeah. No, it's a rap. Word. You see, you getting this back on point. <laughs> are you guys allowed to eat blueberry muffins? Yeah. 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 I, there's some homies only want to use a blue lighter. They wouldn't even drink a blue drink. Like blue raspberries out? You can't have that first they, washing? They ain't even touching a blue pen. Do you have a pet bat? A pet bat. Because you don't have cats? Oh, nah. <laughs> nah, well, we, 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 we ain't fucking with the cats. We, we got B-dogs out here. We got bullies. Then me the hubby got exotic bullies and oh, all yeah? that. Yeah. Is that truck a B sound? Yeah, that, that, that's boo. That's boo. <laughs> that's the Kona kind of stuff. Right here. So you're born right by the highway, too. Yeah. Let's see the freeway right there. He said highway, they say freeway. Yeah. From the block to the park, you get it at. You get it at. From the shoot off, so the hands, you can catch. All these dissing in those songs. Well, okay, I just realized he's out there at night with, <laughs> with that shit around his neck. I'd be like, with all due respect. Do not put that around my neck. Like, all due respect, big homie. <laughs> Yo, Tom G's a wild boy. He's out there at night with I them think folks. He's super innocent. And he doesn't realize how dangerous Stockton is. Yeah, I don't yeah. think he realizes how dangerous Stockton is. Playing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna go in. Come on, let's go. He's go. They don't watch me grow up. I uh, swear so to God, this kind of stuff, man, don't watch me grow up. Yeah. They were selling me shit when I wasn't even old enough. <laughs> yeah. Are you feeling a freestyle in here? Or are you feeling outside of us? I got you in here, look, come on, look. I'm sitting here for this rap shit. Y'all wanna understand up late all night with a pistol in your head. Stomach here, touch my back, so I gotta go hit a lick. About to go make a flip, I see the police in my rear view. Been a couple corners, red lights, and I'm gone on them. Gotta make a way, I'm on my way so I can ball them. Little nigga, still gonna take an egg, Chris Paul on them. As long as my team all eat, we gon' Well, I'm still sitting on this curve, half a butter. Uh, still sitting There's on more this rappers than fans. I would say that. Anybody could rap. Look at this shit. No, no, he got a little flow, you don't think so? That was far as I'm little, little Chris, Paul, Chris Paul. Man, that was hard. That was a hard Let's one. Say, I come on. on. Curry half a bottle almost gone with the same old niggas. I'm a rock and roll with Paul. We ain't on till we on. When we on, then we on. I'm let her know it's all love. Ain't got to put it on the song. Long live Lil A. I felt this pace is high beat. Ain't nothing can stop this rage. Tell the tags on feet. Train to go about the bro. Nigga, I'm trying to. Well, yeah, 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 the shit get the fuck out the way. I'm on. You got an inside look if you want to she got the private stock in Stockton. She like, how much? Get your ignorant ass out the way, right? She said, corny ass lyrics, how much? Tell the tags on feet, try to go about the bro. Nigga, I'm trying to well, fuck out the way, nigga. Yeah. 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 You almost lit the storm on fire, bro. We got to chill, bro. <laughs> All right, folks, we got an inside look at what it's like living in Stockton, being in a crew. Thank you for nah, this documentary was, was, was mid, 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 yeah, it was like a quick overview. This but, wasn't much of a blog. This is like an overview. Yeah. But he got in and out. He must have not felt safe. Yeah. So, how do you feel about this process? This is interesting, right? To hear. This is cool. This is cool. Let it end. I want to hear the end. Really? Yeah, yeah. I want to hear the end. It's like, one minute. Really, I don't think that this is gonna happen. Tommy G, Tommy B, Tommy B, get a beret, get a beret, get a beret, crazy. R P the homie, homie, A word, nigga. Only little A, all that. You feel me? All that. All right, folks. See you next yeah, week. Peace. All right, man. We out of here, man. The JTV for the channel. We out of here, man. Peace. And I know how it gets, so I got still on. I'm on my knock. I don't trust no nigga. I don't trust no man. Ain't no friends. Everybody get shot. You never know how I need to throw. I'm hitting the floor with a couple of shots. You better move. You better duck either way to go. You'll get got.